Hi, Happy New Year and hope you had a great holiday time. I've had some nice shopping over the holidays as well because we had a toy fair in Doncaster. It was on the 30th. I think they time it because perhaps they think people have got Christmas money, which I did. Um, so perhaps then people go out. It was so busy. So there was definitely people ready to spend after Christmas. And what bargains you can get there as well. There is a little bit more limited if you're looking at dolls and sort of vintage toys if you don't want trains and cars because that is seems to be the majority but i have noticed bit by bit there are other sellers coming in and some of the other stalls that might have had cars will have got cars but then they've also got some other little bits there's some teddy bears etc etc it's just lovely to go around have a look what there is a lot of nostalgia there you can see with what people are buying as well which is nice and uh, great atmosphere i just i just love going around hit and miss sometimes you get some great bargains sometimes there's nothing i've got a few i did actually think halfway around i wasn't going to buy anything which was a little disappointing um but then eventually i found a store that i usually go to and they had some lovely items on and i got some cindy items so i'm just going to quick show like this Got some cindy bits there i also managed to get some miniatures as well so i've got a little set these little garden bits and pieces these are for the house that i'm doing up and i am still working on it and i'm going to do a partial video of what i'm doing with the roof actually and i'm going to have to do it bit by bit like that it's just really hard to film it the angle me trying to do it and film it at the same time is not always that easy with this one but i'm still really excited and really into still doing it got a couple of other bits some little minis in there and um, we got a little pony here for the Zodiac doll Judy, which was really nice as well. And um, because I bought a few things from that particular person, I got a bit of a discount, which is always good. So we're going to go top down and have a look at what goodies I got. Let me know if you've managed to get to any toy fairs recently or if you have them where you are. I know here in the UK, it's a little bit different. Um, you seem to get more in the US. I don't know why you get more fairs and things that are more doll related. Whereas here, the dolls are just thrown in with the others. So it's not just dolls. We don't get that many doll fairs. Although we have a few conventions this year. So I'm hoping that's going to be exciting as well. So here we go. Top down and let's have a look at what I actually managed to get. Well, here we are with my vintage buys that I got that I'm really, really pleased about. Not sure where to start. I think, I think we're going to start with the pony actually um something really not anticipated finding because i didn't know it existed now the doll i have which i've just popped off the shelf is this little doll now when i first bought her i thought she was one of the debenham cindy's but she's not they are almost identical but on her markings if i can see it on here i'm pretty sure this is it's just as made in hong kong i'm sure this is my zodiac one they are so similar because i've got quite a few of the little well, quite a few i've got how oh, many have i got one two three i've got four of the little cindy's but again there's there's just hardly any difference it's really difficult i'm pretty sure this is my zodiac let me know if i'm wrong so when i saw this at zodiac obviously judy's pony first of all i saw judy's pony and i thought oh, i wonder because it looks the same size and then obviously it says zodiac trademark in the corner look at that it would have been would that be 85 or 95p you can't tell where it's crossed out but wow <laughs> although saying that that would have been more money then you know it's subjective isn't it it depends i know we sort of i know my kids will sometimes go oh well you know you only paid so and so but it was relative to what people were earning so it's, it's still approximately the same it just says hair mane and tail includes halter reins and saddle i'm not sure whether it does i did have a quick look but i can't remember um it is a black pony and it's for a six and a half inch fashion doll so just a little box there and here is our pony and how cute is that looks like it's in pretty good condition as well and say all the fur fur it's not fur is it all the hair is in the main um, you know i think i should stop talking today it's been one of their do those days i'm sure it has so yes the tail we will say it's got quite a lot of the hair left in there and the main it sort of feels a bit thin to me but i think probably that would have been what it was because there's no no gaps or anything so i think it's okay we have our little saddle which looks in good condition obviously on the side of the horse it does say made in exclusively for zodiac toys made in hong kong so shall we see if our judy sits on it she's got a little little halter thing there so pull that over 
Now she's already got some trousers on, so she shouldn't be too bad fitting on. And these have really got quite a lot of, um, oh, you see, their hands can hold it. Yay, how cute is that? So they are quite sort of, well, you can see from the joints, they've got quite a few points of articulation. That does make them a little bit delicate. That is the only problem. But she's sitting on that nicely. Let me see if I tip it up so you can see. Doesn't she look great on that? I'm going to have to do some photos of that. I do have a Pippa riding outfit. Don't know whether it would fit her. I think she's fractionally big, but I might try it and we'll see if we can get some photos of them on the horse then. Or I might sort of get Pippa to join her as well, something like that. But yes, we do need to do some photos, don't we, of that one? Because I think that's really cute. So I paid, what did I pay? Good question. I paid £10, but I didn't actually pay £10 because I bought a bulk amount of items from this person. These are also from her. And I got £5 knocked off everything. So it worked out quite nicely for me. So we'll pop our little post to one side and we'll carry on actually with what I bought from this particular seller so there's a couple of outfits there and we have a Cindy dressing table and stall now the boxes are a little bit battered I am not a box collector I don't really save them at the moment I am saving all my furniture boxes because eventually I'm going to get a home for them all to sit in the furniture and then I'll fold all the boxes flat so I won't need them but yeah a little bit moth -eared, but you can't expect much else for its age now this is my era of collecting Cindy but I didn't get one of these I always wanted one of these but I didn't get one so let's have a look I mean, it just screams its age, doesn't it? Sort of the style and everything. But I absolutely love this style so much. A little bit of yellowing, but nothing major, is there? All the gold is there. I mean, perhaps it could do with a bit of a touch-up, but I don't think I'd overly bother. I think just give it a little bit of a clean. This is a little mirror that sits in the back. Um, yeah, it's a few marks, but again, nothing major on that. And that slots into that. So we've got a really cute mirror there. We have a little stall, which again, probably needs a little bit of cleaning. I think I could probably, I won't push it now because obviously the plastic could be a little bit more delicate. I think I'd probably push that out. Might even recover it, do something like that, but it's not broken anywhere. It's nice and solid. There's no chips or anything like that. And then we have some little accessories. Now, oh, I'm throwing it about. I think... This is supposed to go on there, but that is really yellowed. I don't know whether I would bother putting that out, to be honest. I would keep it. Now, I don't know whether these are. Let's have a look. If we look on the box. Oh, let's bring the box in. And let's see whether these accessories are correct for the box. Now, that looks like it's a little powder puff, but it looks like the little bottom of the powder puff is missing. But, you know, that's okay. That... I'm presuming are these flowers, although I don't know. I think they probably are. Again, the colouring's about right. This is probably one of the bottles. Because it's weird because I found that whatever's on here, quite often there can be a variation inside. But there is that anyway. And then she's got a little hand mirror there as well, which is very, very cute. So there's a few bits, but obviously I've made perfume bottles. I've made all sorts of accessories. So I can really sort of put some pizzazz back into this when it has had a clean but I still haven't got a home for it I do have the wardrobe that goes with it so I've got part of it there um I'm just waiting for us to get the build done I need to get some measurements done so I can get the wood cut because we are yes we're building one rather than buying one that's the decision that's now been made so we'll move that to one side as well over we go and I'll take that over that way so we're not in the way oh look we found it there, so we are. Oh, look, we've got a little powder powder pot there. That's brilliant. Also got a couple of clothes. Now, as you can see, the price says I paid four pounds for this little jumpsuit, and here it does say it's the Motorway Man Paul outfit. It's the coat. It's probably a little hole, but that's not the end of the world. Um, trousers and jumpers included. I've always had a bit of a thing about this outfit. Now I haven't got a Paul, but I still like the outfit. So. I might need to do a bit of repairing on it, but that's okay. I don't mind doing that, considering, you know, I enjoy making things and things like that. So it's okay. So let's have a look how holy you are. I should have really checked when I got there. Right. Ah, can you see? If that's what the problem is. Can you see there's some little tiny holes? I don't know why there's little holles. I mean, could it 
it wouldn't be moths would it i don't know what it be. it could be just the fabric itself with age i'm 100 percent sure i can repair that i'm not worried about that let's have a look oh, there's one in the arm there the back's okay maybe a little bit there i think it's just how the fabric goes i don't think it's been damaged i think it's just age let's have a look at the fasteners the fasteners are there and quite often they're one that do actually pull through so i'm quite pleased the fasteners are there i don't know there's just something about this outfit i sort of love the fur collar that he had and then i thought these trousers were super cool now i'm going to try and not alter alter them but i'm going to make them so as i can pop them on cindy i might need to turn them up or tidy them up or something like that but again fasteners not bad it's pretty good because then again, quite often you'll get a hole with that, but that's all right. And then he has this little sort of jumper. Looks like somebody has repaired the neck. And I think at some point the neck has come out again, a common issue with these things. I think, because that's not been so neatly done, I think I would probably unpick that and redo it. Let's see if oh, that's good. Because again, holes, rusting, etc., etc. Because they, these old snaps do have a tendency to do that. But I'm going to sort of try and alter that outfit and it's actually going to be for my Cindy. So let's have a look. These out, I know we said £12 and you're thinking, why have you paid £12 with something with holding? Because it's a lot more expensive otherwise. This is making an awful lot of noise, isn't it? And I just thought this was a bit of fun. I just thought it was a cute little onesie sort of outfit. Um, we have a plastic which will have been put on after the fact i don't i don't think it's so oh, it's not homemade there we go i was gonna say i don't think it's homemade it is actually a proper cindy one because she had more than one of these so that's why i presumed it wasn't homemade but i would say that fastener has been put on later i don't know whether even it would have had a fastener there's no sign of actual fastening it must have at some point, surely. But there, there's no sign of fastening. But it just got a little plastic fastener on. I just thought it was a bit of a fun one, that one. That cost me £4, so that was okay. So, which bag should we go for next? We'll go for this one. And this was a last minute buy as I came out. But it's a Jurassic World one. How could I resist that? It is a Barbie one, but I do have Barbies, but it would sit Cindy as well. It would fit my Blythes. It would fit all sorts of dolls. So I thought $5.99 was quite good for that one. Uh, obviously, it is a brand new one. And I've not seen these here. I mean, they probably are somewhere, but I've not seen them. But yes, I thought that was quite cute because I've got a little, little Stegosaurus on there. And then these little bits. Don't ask why I bought this funny little cat. I just did because I thought it was cute. Um, I'm definitely, I can't do that on the packet now, I'm definitely a cat person, um, I mean, well, I love them all, I mean, I loved our little dog we had as well, but I think probably I do sort of veer a little bit towards cats, so there we are, with his funny, one eye bigger than the other, but I just thought he was cute, I don't know what I'm going to do with him, but he's cute, I'll sit him on the dressing table for now, there you go, and then I got these tiny vintage bits for my little house that I've mentioned, this little tiny, I think it's pewter. But look how tiny this is, teeny weeny weeny. And it's even got a little bit of fluff on there. And she's got this little fire guard there. And then the little clock. I thought that was really nice. She only charged me a few pounds for those. So I really did like those. This was a different stall than the original one. I mean, I've got what? Um, I'm on about the fourth stall here that I actually purchased from. But yes, I, th I like the colour. It was the colour that got me on that one. So I think that'd be really nice on the mantelpiece with all the other extras. They need, again, a little bit of cleaning. It's no big deal. It's part of the fun of it, to be perfectly honest. Now, the person I bought these from, I also got this collection. Now, this absolutely fascinates me. I wanted some garden details for the house I've got that I'm doing up. Now, I don't know whether you've seen the video, but if you have, it's got like a little edge all the way around. And these fit perfectly. I thought they would when I come home and I tried them, they fit perfectly. So they can have these little sort of, well, they're not window boxes because they're going to sit on the floor, aren't they? But they can have these little boxes all the way around or under the windows. I've not decided where they're going yet. I'm going to add some plants as well. Also with this, we have some little pavings. Not sure whether I'll use, but I might do because we've not really got much of a garden with this house. The fences, again, not sure. I did wonder whether they were supposed to go behind these, but I can't see where they would sit. But they're really nice. Look how nicely they are made. Now, there is a brand somewhere. There is definitely a brand on one of these. Where was it? 
not quite sure about the gate. I don't think that should be in there. I mean, that's Britain's Limited. But I've got a feeling the rest might be as well. We've got these. Uh, I don't know what someone's tried to do there. And I don't think that's anything to do with it. I think somebody's used something else to try and make a plant stand or something like that. But again, I can alter those. That's not a problem. A couple of spare windows. I don't really need. I've got plenty of windows at the moment. But, you know, keep them. You never know. I might find another project I want to do at some point. And then we have, let me move all these. I don't know why there's some little books as well. I don't know what that's got to do with gardens. There's a couple of little books. That's cute. And then we have these. Now, these are what really made me buy it. Now, I can remember these and I don't know why. That sounds a bit silly, doesn't it? Now, let's have a look what it says on the bottom. It says Floral Garden by Brin Brit eh, I can't speak. Britain's Limited. Now, I remember these for a very strange reason of putting these tiny roses onto the branches. And I've got when I saw it, I had such really strong memories of doing this, but I can't ever remember having them. So that's a little bit strange, but I must have, or I did it with somebody else's, but absolutely love these. They sort of just plant in to these little bases so I could do a sort of a little rose garden with my house or I could. I don't really can pop them in there. You might be able to actually. Let's see if they go in there. There is a little hole that won't go in, but that would look quite nice, wouldn't it? Having the roses in there as well. And the tiny little garden space I've got, I could use this for and pop some other plants and things like that. So sort of give a little a little corner piece of garden or maybe join it together. Or There's plenty to play around with. I've not made any decisions yet what I'm going to do, but I paid £3 for all the garden stuff. I'm over the moon, even if it was only for those three pound each, that's great. But I love these little fences and the roses I completely fell in love with and gave me some very strange memories. But, you know, there you go. So that was all my purchases I got from the toy fair this time. I did get a really nice little purchase from an antique centre, but I'm going to do that as a separate video. This was just the toy fair i'll put you the link for the toy fair com company because they do do them all over the country and we get them quite regular up here let me just move things over a little bit so i think i had a pretty good haul actually i know when we were first going round, as my husband put it he says it's slim pickings although he did manage to get a military badge as well because he collects um uh, trench art and military mem military I'm getting worse today that's about the fifth word I've not said properly military sort of memorabilia etc etc so he managed to get a couple of bits but I said at one point halfway through I'm like I'm not gonna be buying anything but then all of a sudden bits and pieces appeared you really do have to look people put things in little boxes and especially in all well, like this it was on a stall I can't even remember what it was I think it was all dinosaurs so I'm looking, I'm like, well, I don't really want any dinosaurs. And then I'm like, hang on, the pink caught my eye, of course. Um, I noticed this was just, these were just in a little box. So was this another one and a different style as well? And I'd have overlooked them because when it's busy, sometimes you look across the top rather than sort of at the stalls. So you really do need to take your time, have a good look, look under the tables. A lot of them have boxes under the tables. There was quite a few, what I would call generic dolls. To be honest, I would say... To me, I felt they were more like the dolls you get in a charity shop, but they were charging a little bit too much for dolls from a charity shop. There was some Cindy's there, but way out price for me. They were like £75, £80. I, I think that is so, so overpriced. Um, so, yes, I wouldn't pay that out. And I think probably I have enough Cindy's, to be perfectly honest. So here we go. This is just my little Toy Fair find. And I'm over the moon with it. Really pleased. Think I did really well. Uh, came out a very happy bunny. Hope you've enjoyed having a look. Let me know if you find bargains like this. Because I think these were bargains this time. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching. And bye bye for now.